Hello, you divine, infinite human beings. You are all that is, ever has been, and ever can be. You are divine, infinite love. You are divine, infinite source. You are divine, infinite truth. And actually, I've been walking around my little town, and I guess I'm not going to really say because I don't know, but the Carbonieri are everywhere. All over the town and I want to take a moment to talk about that because one of the things that we don't most people don't understand and we've been duped actually with legalese the language of law is that okay these people these carabinieri that are everywhere are servants, our servants, servants. Their job is to serve us, okay? To maintain the law of the land. And the law of the land is really quite simple. Do no harm to others. <laughs> Just like the oath <laughs> that doctors are supposed to take, which says, do no harm, okay? And it's really simple. Uh, there's not a, a lot of rules because basically uh, we are respected as sovereign, God's sovereign free beings that do not want to do harm to others. And I believe that is our true divine nature. And if you are suspected of, you know, doing something that's harming another person, then these servants of the law are expected to come in and to keep the peace and to you know stop you from harming each other and that's their job it's that simple now what we don't understand is that there is another set of laws that we are operating under called the laws of the high sea or the laws of the ships the vessels and I'm gonna go a little bit deeper and tell you the truth behind this because what it is is the law of the land, the law of earth, respects us all as God's sovereign free beings. But the law of ship faring vessels is one of not just ships of the high seas, but also of space ships. And if you look at any sci fi, or even um, if you look at uh, the ships uh, in the sky, as in terms of airplanes and spaceships, because we do have space shuttles they follow this law and it is a law also of conquest of conquering it's a law of business it's a law that governs corporations merchants or or enchanters of the sea merchants mer meaning sea in mermaid mer, in most languages we, here in italy mare. so it is a legal, not a lawful system, it's unlawful actually, system that was created and put into place by intruding, intruding, intruders from other star systems, from other planets, from other uh, galaxies who were part of and many of them, you know, reptilian in nature, who saw Earth as one of their conquests. All right, one of their conquests. So <laughs> they put this maritime law, as it is called, has many, 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 many laws put in place because it is governing and ruling and enslaving and seeing us human beings not as sovereign free individuals, citizens of our earth, but as merchandise, as products that like a ship on the sea that pulls into a berth or a dock and receives a certificate when it delivers its merchandise. The same goes true for your mother when her waters parted and she gave birth and received a certificate of birth from the dock tour, okay? So we are created this, uh, when we certify and register our births, we become this artificial, it's known as a straw man, avatar, ficti fictitious aspect of ourselves 
that is subject to maritime laws, not unlawful laws that are not the law of the land. And it is within this web of maritime laws that govern us as corporations, as property, that have that see countries as corporations to be governed, to be ruled, to be spot and sold and traded, to see these officers, not the policemen, but the officers of the law and the Carbonieri, these are Carbonieri, they have a very old and dark history behind them. It's an over 500 year old organization created in Sardinia, part of the secret societies, and they swear, swear all kinds of secret oaths. So they, their job is not really to uphold sovereign law and to make sure that we that no harm comes to us and they are not servants of us all right so we have different things going on we have officers who are enforcing their ownership trying to own you and when they ask you for your documents which i've just learned you're not legally obliged to give unless you have been suspected of a crime and the minute you do you fall subject to these maritime laws these unlawful laws and that's one of the reasons they ask you after they tell you what is going on or read you your rights or whatever they ask you if you understand and that means do you stand under these laws? Are you accepting these laws? And part of the movement that is now beginning and has been going for quite a long time, I think we all need to start learning, educating ourselves and becoming part of, is to honor, defend and protect our God's sovereign freedoms as God's sovereign beings of the citizens of this earth, which is our earth, okay? It's not a conquested planet anymore. So that's what this big wake up is, not to reset us into a technological prism that reinforces these laws of our conquistadors, our conquestors, but to take back our planet and to firmly assert ourselves as ownership of our bodies, minds, and souls, and of our planet, really guardians of our Earth. Ciao for now. And oh, please uh, like, subscribe, all that stuff. I, always, I never say that. I'm starting to promote myself because it's time. And please visit my website, infinitehuman.com, if you like what I'm saying. I am coming out with my opus magnum, my life's work, called The Infinite Human. And I'm taking pre-orders for it. I've already got some. I'm so excited. Okay, one. <laughs> but uh, it's great because it's very inspiring. I just put it out yesterday. So thank you. Thank you, Susan, for pre-ordering. I should get it out by the first of this year in January. That's my, uh, pub, my due date, my publication date. And it's first going to be available as a download on my website. I'm getting out of the Amazon loop and I'm gonna do it myself on my website and then I do wanna print some copies and travel around the planet and meet you guys and talk to you and have discussions and all kinds of things about it because I've systematically gone through every aspect of our life empowering us to take back our freedom, our planet and be the infinite humans we are and create an infinite new earth. So that's my job for 2021 now that everybody's waking up and i love you guys again please subscribe please sign up for my website infinitehuman.com and pre-order my book the infinite human ciao from italy sicily ciao